I'm sorry. I, I, Neil, I did not expect this to happen. And I feel like an idiot, obviously. I want to start out this vlog by giving you a real raw look at how our apartment is right now. Where we've got shoes, we've got belts, shirts, messy pillows, messy blanket. Why are these juggling balls here? Why are those clothes over there? This is seriously giving me a little bit of anxiety. I am not a fan. And then, boom, suitcase over there. And that's a little hint as to how things have gotten so out of hand. Zach and I are leaving for a little staycation later on this afternoon where our friends, Sam and Lindsay, are getting married. So today is the rehearsal dinner, but we're gonna get to the hotel early, check in, and then tomorrow is the actual wedding. And I also wanted to start out this vlog showing you what I look like right now. A nice little before, because we're gonna be doing an extreme glow up. Last night I got a spray tan, and technically this is worse than if I were just my natural color. I cannot stand the morning after a dark spray tan before you put on makeup. Like, it just does not look good at all. So I thought, you know what, this is the true before of really not liking uh, the appearance, but we're gonna change that, guys, because I've got a nail appointment today, I've got a hair appointment today, and I'm just, I'm excited. And also, like, all of this was pretty unnecessary. I obviously don't normally get my nails done, my hair done, my spray tan, like, that is crazy for me, but I figured why the heck not, you know? We haven't really had a lot of events to go to, especially because of the pandemic, so I'm kind of just using this as a little excuse to get ready to glow up, and it's actually Friday right now, but I'm home. I had the most relaxing Friday morning ever, like, it just, it's, it's, it was so nice. And it's because I filled in on the weekend morning show on Sunday. So they gave me Friday off and I, mm, I took it. I was like, bam, this is so perfect because we have the wedding. So I actually have time to do all of these little like wedding prep things. I've got a nice mug of chocolate oatmeal that I don't have to scarf down in the middle of a work day. I can sit, I can relax. And then it's go time. I'm back home very quickly before my haircut, just doing a little bit of packing. Yes, the goal is to work out tomorrow while Zach is doing bachelor party stuff. We'll see if I actually do it. This right here is my dress for the rehearsal dinner tonight. But as for the wedding tomorrow, I have no idea. And I have these dresses that I've worn to previous weddings. I didn't feel like splurging on a new dress for any of these weddings I have coming up because we have another one in Boston. Uh, so I just want to rewear dresses, but I don't know which one I want. This is a contender, which this actually looks awful on the hanger, but this is one I wore to a wedding. Gosh, it was like three years ago. This one's super cute. Another contender possibility. By the way, these are actually all from Dillard's. Dillard's is just like my place. And then this is a contender as well from Dillard's. I don't know, we'll have to make a decision later because I gotta get to my haircut. Ta-da! This is the finished product and I love it. I went in there telling her, listen, I know I want a middle part, we're switching things up. I think I want angles, I want layers, but I don't care what you do. I wanna keep the length, kind of, but I really just kind of, I'm just gonna go with whatever your vision is. And she delivered, and I am so happy with it, except <laughs> Zach is not. Zach, do you wanna come here and tell the vlog about what happened when I came home? Vlog? Well, I'll tell him. No, I come home, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, 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 no, no yes, no, yes. No, Zach, I'm cutting no, this part out then. No, no, Zach, let me no. just explain, let, let me just explain and then, and then you can give your point no, of view. No, let me explain. No, so, oh wait, I never removed, I remember telling myself I got like mascara on my eye and I was gonna, you know, the trick, if you get mascara anywhere, you just do a little eyebrow spilly. Anyway, one of the best parts about getting a haircut or just getting done up is coming home and having your boyfriend look you in the eyes and say, oh my gosh, you look amazing. And you're like, wow, like he really does love me and he thinks I'm beautiful. So I come home, smile at him, <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh -huh. don't, I don't get anything. I'm like, okay, hey Zach, how was golfing? Cause he was golfing today, good. How was your day? And I'm like, good. Then maybe like seven minutes later, he goes, do you like your hair? <laughs> Cause he knew I was getting a haircut. Do I like my hair? I don't know, do you like it? Like, 
What? So what do you have to say about that? I need to put the defocus thing off so you're in focus. Okay, there we go. So first things first, she did not come in and smile at me. Yes, she I didn't say hello. <laughs> yes, I did. I she said... came in, started fumbling around with her stuff. So I couldn't <laughs> tell if she was happy or sad. I didn't know what was going on. I'm not a mind reader. Second, I it was just genuinely curious if she liked her haircut. But if you liked it, you would have said hold it on, first. Hold on. I think we're... I always tell you that I think you're pretty and that you're beautiful and I was just asking you if you liked your haircut so it wasn't something that I was thinking consciously that I needed to reassure her. So on the flip side, I understand when you get a new haircut that you may want someone to right away say it looks great. I always think Clancy looks great. I know I shouldn't just assume that she knows that. So there is a little bit I can agree with. What's my love language? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I mean, okay. For goodness sake, I mean, just don't miss on gifts, words of affirmation, <laughs> doing nice things. I mean, come on, what's my number one? It's the plethora. You know it. She says it's words of affirmation, <laughs> but I think you and I both know YouTube that you can't skimp on any of it. But she looks very pretty with her hair, her dress, with her makeup, the whole nine. The whole nine. No, the prettiest girl at the ball tonight. I told Zach when he gets a haircut, what's the first thing I say to him? Oh my gosh, you look so good. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think she ever says I, that. Yes, I do. I, you know how much I love when you get a haircut. I, I know, but I, I think I can't sometimes even... like it's like people try hard to, that's like, or it's like, I'm just going to give you this compliment whether I hate it or like it. So I was just asking you and I was going to say, you said, if you said yes, yes, I was going to say, yeah, no, I really like it too. You look pretty. This is the dress I am wearing tonight though. I got it from Francesca's about a year and a half ago. Like I said, I'm just kind of doing the oldies. Um, but yeah, I love this dress. I wore it in Jamaica and I'm going to need like a cardigan because I know I'm gonna be cold. But for now, we're just letting it all fly. We're just letting ourselves live our lives. The only problem with my hair is that she semi-curled it. She just did like a little curling iron thing. I, I can't do it, I'm so bad with hair. And I don't know what it's going to look like tomorrow. Like it might be an absolute disaster. So that will be interesting. But overall, it just feels so good sometimes to treat yourself, get your nails done, hair, spray tan, why not? Like I'm always so frugal. I never get my nails done. I never do these things for myself. Last time I got my hair cut was six months ago. So it just feels so good just to be like, hey, like why not treat myself? Also, I have a question guys. How much do you tip for nails? I never know. I got a gel mani and then a regular pedicure. I always just do $20, but I I don't know like what is everyone else doing so let me know seriously comment that down below I love when I have like a question of the video and everyone gives their different opinions it's especially cool to see like when people have totally different ones so let me know about that but for now you guys can see right here I am pretty much done packing we are just with this one little itty bitty suitcase you can see I'm bringing multiple hair tools because I don't know what tomorrow is gonna hold with my hair it's gonna be bad uh, hairspray, got my makeup. I feel like I'm gonna be forgetting something, it's scary. But we decided we are going to go straight to the rehearsal dinner and not check in at our hotel first just because we're gonna save some money on Ubers that way. And I don't even think I'm gonna drink tonight. I feel like I'd rather just drink tomorrow. I don't really like drinking two weekend nights in a row because I always feel like crap the next day. And for me, it's like, what's the point in having one vodka water? Like what's that gonna do for me other than it's Obviously not great, you know, vodka is not like a nutritious thing you're putting in your body. It's pretty much pollution. I learned last weekend on my birthday. So I think I'm just gonna have a good old fun sober time. That might be the plan. Is that a, a good game plan, Zach? So I'm a good human being tomorrow? That sounds like a great game plan all around. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys. There's been an unexpected change of plans slash this was always on the table to begin with so it's not that much of a change but I'm actually going home right now. Uh, Zach is here. He just woke up. Do you want to give a little wave? He killed it on the speech last night, by the way. That's what people say. <laughs> well, actually, tell them it's funny. Remember how, like, I was like, oh, he didn't even tell me my hair looks pretty. Well, no, Clancy was, like, wondering why I was, like, so, like, uptight or whatever, and I think I was just nervous for my speech. Yeah, like, I could tell something was... I mean, come on. Whenever you're in a relationship, you're like, is it us? Is he gonna dump me? 
I could just tell. I'm like, what the heck? He always tells me my hair looks pretty. I gotta fill you guys in in the car. My brother, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. What time is it actually? Let's be legit. 8.03. I called my brother to come pick me up at like seven something. I've been up since forever. This is kind of like an emergency pickup. I'll explain in the car. So guys, this is really not how I thought my morning was gonna go. This is not how I planned the vlog to go. I had big plans for like a nice like hotel room vlog, but it just was not in the cards because Zach and I got to the hotel room last night and it was the worst night of sleeping ever, first of all. Worst night. I, I don't even wanna talk about how little sleep I got. And that's because there were just noises and just people yelling. I could hear the people in the room next to us having full conversations. I've never experienced that. Like, you know when you go on TripAdvisor and people like write like, I could hear the people speaking in the room next to me, the walls are paper thin. And you're like, yeah, right, like no. That was the case. Downtown Cincinnati was a little more crazy last night because they have Oktoberfest, which is the largest in the world this year. It gets huge. And so it's normally not like that, like staying in downtown Cincinnati. I don't know how people live in New York City because it was just not good. I woke up this morning and I just like kind of like panicked a bit of what my day was gonna be because Zach's gonna be ditching me at like 10 a.m., 9 a.m. because he's in the bachelor party. He's the co-best man. And it was just gonna be me in a hotel room that this is really what did it for me. I couldn't get Wi-Fi, <gasps> not any Wi-Fi at all. And even like, I couldn't even go on like my um, my data, it just wasn't working. I don't know why, the Wi-Fi wasn't free, so I would have had to pay to begin with, which was weird. I haven't been in a hotel like that in like ever, maybe like 2002. And I just can't imagine just not having Wi-Fi for like the whole day, even like listening to a podcast when I get ready or listening to music, like that just would have been crazy. So I wasn't able to get Wi-Fi. A big thing that I have to admit, I actually forgot my birth control and I do not mess around with that. So that was luring me to go home. And then there's a the third thing that I can't really, oh, I like just wanted a simple, like I, I needed water and I'm like a water drinker. I take my water and I just like, I drink like gallons. Like I'm not kidding, it's like a crazy amount. And I'm not trying to like go down to the lobby and pay for an overpriced small bottle of water each and every time I want water. Like that's, it just felt, not good so i called my trusty old brother neil who doesn't want to be in the vlog at all but we're getting a little uh, screen time how are you feeling neil okay. he's feeling fine guys he's the best oh my gosh i can't even tell you neil you just saved my life oh because Oktoberfest is, is in town i looked up an uber to go we live 10 minutes from downtown 39 dollars 39 and i was like that's so sad so i called neil in the bathroom when zach was asleep and i was like please come get me and this was early we were on the phone at like seven something this morning so i appreciate it so much i'm not driving you back that's okay i'll take an uber wow he's really uh what's it like marking his foot in the sand or what's that sign something like that yeah i did not think today could get any worse than it has i really didn't and then i just realized i don't have my key <laughs> to get in my apartment neil's stopping in kroger he thinks he's about to just drop me off but no he has to take me right back. This is awful. This is so awful. He's gonna be so mad at me. Like, he's gonna hate me so much. I'm gonna call Zach. Yeah. Hey, did you see my texts? No. Oh, I need to come I'm back. At I'm at breakfast. Okay, yeah, I need to come back. I don't have a key to get in the apartment. <laughs> Guys, I'm so scared to tell Neil. He's gonna be so mad. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. Like, there's no way I can... God, he's coming. I see him from a distance. Oh, he has no idea I'm about to ruin his world. I'm such a bad human. I'm just so dumb. Like, why wouldn't I ever think about this? I have really bad news. What? I don't have a key. <laughs> oh my God. I have to go back downtown. Just one more time. Sake. Neil, please. I'm so sorry. Like, try, like You're like, you all right from now on you ask me for a favor <laughs> you have to actually like consider like my time there's a i'm missing i just missed an entire soccer game neil i'm sorry no i'm just saying it's like god damn i'm sorry I, I, neil i did not expect this to happen and i feel like an idiot obviously Ugh, i'm so sad this is so bad and don't vlog anymore in the car i don't deserve this chocolate oatmeal i feel unworthy in every way shape and form but I'm gonna enjoy it nonetheless. I'm about to run two miles in 90 degree weather as a little punishment to myself for being so dumb and inconsiderate of everyone's time. And obviously I'm kidding when I say that this is punishment, but 
God, I'm so frustrated. All right, guys, when it comes to dresses tonight, I have two options, the ones I showed you before. It's either this one or there is this option, a little more flowy, a little more fun, but the only thing with this one, I feel like these little like sleeve things are just annoying. Like, I, what even is that, you know? I don't know. All right, guys, this is the finished look. No going back now. And oh my gosh, wait, funny story. Do you guys remember that blue dress I showed you yesterday that I wore to a wedding three years ago? Well, there was so much drama with that dress where I don't know why. I don't know what is wrong with me. Are you guys ready for this? I thought it was gonna be too scandalous to wear to the wedding. I went to Dillard's, I bought it. It was like, you know, $30, very discounted. It was like the Dillard's outlet, I guess. And then all of a sudden I just put it on right before the wedding and was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know what I thought was so scandalous. Like, was it my shoulders? I don't know, like I really, was it not long enough? Like I, something about it, I was freaking out. I was asking my mother, my mom was like, Clancy, it's fine, like you're not showing anything, you're fine. And I was asking people at work and like I just thought I was gonna show up to this wedding looking like a scandal. And um, needless to say, I didn't. Anyway, I actually need to call an Uber. I decided I'm not stopping at the hotel. I have this little duffel bag. I'm gonna show up to the wedding with a duffel bag full of just simply what I'm gonna wear tonight, makeup remover, toothbrush, and then that's it. What I'm gonna wear tomorrow, just workout clothes. So I, I, I could not afford to go back to the hotel because I completely forgot. It's Oktoberfest. <laughs> How could I forget? It's been very evident all weekend. And the Uber prices are just insane. I had no idea. I just went to go plug it on my phone. Let me actually get my phone. Oh my gosh, no. Darn it, this is not good. $75. Sam and Lindsay are lucky, I love them. And actually, I am so grateful that I love all of Zach's friends and their significant others. Most of them are married or engaged, but I can't imagine if I didn't like my significant other's friends. And I do get a lot of comments and questions from you guys. Just, you know, a lot of you guys will ask me for advice and I'm always so happy to help you out. But that's one thing I don't even know how to help you guys because I've never experienced that where you don't like either your significant other's family or friends. I can't even imagine the family part just because you know, both Zach and I are pretty big on family. Like I would hate to <laughs> not like my significant other's family, but obviously I knew Zach's mom before him. So that was never gonna happen. I liked her a lot. And the whole friends thing, it's interesting because it just leads me to question, why are they his friends? Like for me, it makes so much sense that I click with these people because Zach is so much like me. And then so it makes sense that I'd be like his friends. Like, I think it's so crazy and weird when people are so different than their significant other's friends. It's just weird. But anyway, I genuinely love all of Zach's friends and all of their significant others. And it really would bother me if I didn't. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> I'm just refreshing this Uber app 500 times. Oh wow, it just says no cars available. That's a plot twist. <gasps> My Lyft driver is four minutes away. She's about to get so much money. Despite the fact that I look severely hungover right now, I promise, I'm actually not. I didn't drink a whole lot last night, so I'm proud of that. But do you guys see the location? We're here in the apartment, not the hotel. We actually didn't stay in the hotel last night, even though we paid for it, which is really not good. But some bad news, Zach actually got sick. And I don't mean sick throwing up or from alcohol or anything. I don't know what he has, possibly strep throat. He just all of a sudden throughout the day yesterday and then just last night really developed a cough, horrible throat, and he's just not doing well at all. Like he's still sleeping in the bedroom and we're gonna have to end up getting our car from the hotel and get our stuff from the hotel. So I'm kind of just looking at the clock because checkout is at 11. And so that's not going to be good. I feel really bad because I just wanted to be able to sleep, but yeah, he's just not feeling great. It's so hard though also because with Zach, when he's sick, he doesn't want anything. Like he doesn't want me to 
rub his back. He doesn't want me to get him things. Like there's just no helping him when he's sick. The only way I can help is literally just by staying out of his way. I'm kind of just sitting here like not really knowing what to do to help. And he really just wanted to sleep in his own bed just because last night we both didn't get a good night's sleep. It was just so loud. And whoever's just next to us in the hotel is just paper thin walls. We could hear the whole thing. Craziness going on downtown. So he really, really just wanted a good night's sleep. And I was like, hey, I'm fine with that. I didn't have the best hotel experience the night before. So we just slept in our own bed last night and it felt immaculate. Also, can we just talk about Lindsay's whole look? Lindsay was the bride last night. You guys know, you met in a vlog, a couple vlogs back. She was in like my birthday vlog. And oh my gosh, guys, I'm not kidding. Like everything that she was is what I want to be in terms of being a bride. Like, first of all, her dress was Haley Page. That is my dream dress. That is my dream dress where it's, I think it's an A, it's either A-line or ball gown. They confuse me because they're very similar, but basically where it's like tight at the top, like at your chest, and then it kind of, you know, flows out. Love that. And then it was just so like minimal, but beautiful. Like, I love that. Love that. I, I'm so obsessed with her dress. I've been telling her this for months. Then her hair, Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't think I got any close-ups of her hair that you can see, but it was like a beautiful French braid that flowed into like a really pretty updo. And then like the tundrals. Oh my gosh. She showed me a photo like a month ago of what her hair was going to look like. I thought she was showing me the inspiration photo, like the model photo that you'll try to recreate, but it's probably not going to look like that. And then all of a sudden I was like, wait, Lindsay, is that you? Like your hairdresser legit did that? So yeah, I mean, her hair was amazing. Her makeup was so beautiful and minimal. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup to begin with, so she didn't want to do anything crazy, and it was perfect. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just so obsessed with her whole look. And then just Sam, oh, her husband, her now husband. Yeah, they're just, they're so great, and they're such good friends, and oh my gosh, I'm just so happy. I'm not crying. I have something in my eye that... <laughs> As I'm like getting all emotional, I'm like, they're just such good friends. No, I promise. There was something in my eye. I'm so, so, so happy for them. Overall though, you guys want to know something crazy? I don't know if I want a wedding. I just don't know if I can do it. I don't know. Like, I just can't picture myself walking down the aisle and just having everyone look at me. And I, I just, I don't know. But like, I don't know if I'd regret not having a wedding one day. It's up in the air. One option is actually a destination wedding. Where? Oh, are you up? I was just telling them about your sickness. How are you feeling? Not good. Well, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys, because Zach needs me to do absolutely nothing because when he's sick, he won't let me do anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, guys, oh my gosh, when I'm sick, I'm like, please, like, you must, like, just sit right next to me, rub my back, get me medicine, get me food, like, do it all for me. Tickle my stomach. Like, I'm, I'm not a good sick person. That's the vlog. That's the wedding vlog that totally did not go the way I thought it was gonna go. Had many different visions for this vlog, but you know what? It's because of the whole hotel incident. That's why it was an amazing wedding. It was at, by the way, in case anyone's curious and you live in the Cincinnati area, Pinecroft at Croxley Estate, something like that. And it was beautiful. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn the bell notifications on so you're the first person who knows when I post a new video. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.